All right, the time has come. This is like the elephant in the room in the reality TV world, even though I'm probably the last person to talk about this. But you know, I needed to process what I had just seen. At this point, I think they're just trying to do the craziest idea possible just to get everybody's attention. And clearly that has worked. I have never seen anything like this show before. I saw a part from this show on YouTube and a guy commented that he was gonna go back to church because of it. That right there is how you know you got a hit on your hands. <laughs> I am in this amazing, beautiful mansion here in Mexico. This is a perfect place to find love. These kinds of reality shows are just obsessed with beaches. Why is everything always on this really nice island or a nice beach? There's other places in the world. There's You can't only be on a beach forever. I think they should have just done this in the middle of the desert. They should have just, just left them there and not even done the show. Just leave them in the desert. You're about to embark on a dating experience like none other. Oh. Let's go! I have an extremely high libido. What? What the heck? What is going on? That was such a weird edit in, in a strange time to drop that, that whatever the hell that sound is. But seriously, do you know how many reality TV shows I've seen where they're all just hanging around on a beach snorkeling and arguing? Here we go. What the hell? So basically, it's a bunch of older women that want to go to an island and meet younger men. And as we know, younger, attractive dudes just spawn on islands. There's usually like a weight set or a couple barbells or something, and they'll migrate their way over there. It's pretty much just all those muscle dudes from SpongeBob that work out on the beach all day long. But guess what? There's a twist to this show. They're all going to be meeting each other's sons. If someone proposed while I'm here, that would be great news. Uh, I don't know what if it's going to happen or not, but let's see. Please stop. Just... Just think about what you're saying. I think it's my time to find love. I really do. Because life has, you know, really given me some curveballs. And it took a long time to get here. Yeah, it took a long time to get here. Here at MILF Manor. This is what my whole life has led to. You know, it took me a long time to get on a reality show where I could meet some young, hot dudes on an island. Alright, so you know the deal. They're all just meeting right now. Everybody's super polite, you know. Oh, hi, how are you? Oh my god, I can't wait to fall in love. Isn't this beautiful? And then the twist happens, and they're like, wait a minute. This woman I was just talking to and being friends with might be making out with my son later? Oh my god. You gotta be joking. Just tell him. You're joking. <laughs> Nope, not joking. It's really gonna happen. Oh my god. This poor kid is traumatized. I don't think he'll ever be the same again. I'm Kelly. I'm 50 years old and my alter ego is Disco Mommy. Hey girl! Did I hear that correctly? Did she say Disco Mommy? What the hell is Disco Mommy? <laughs> what is... What's going on? Wait, there are moms? What? Holy <laughs> Oh, come on, dude. You got to sell the reaction better than that. Is, is that the best you got? This is the weirdest thing ever. I would be in complete shock like this dude. Wait, is this the same person? I genuinely can't tell. Woo! Oh my God. That's my mom right there. Something tells me they knew about this already. Yo, that's my mom right there. Yeah, dude, that is. That is your mom. Isn't that weird? Wouldn't that be really strange if you went on a reality show to meet women and your mom walked out? I knew my son Gabriel was going to be in Mexico with me. I thought he was going to be on a separate dating retreat, but he's in my dating pool. Oh yeah, of course, a separate dating retreat. I thought we were both going on individual separate dating retreats in Mexico at the same time. Hi. So yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. My name is so old, so young. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at this frame right here. What is going on here? How many times do you think she's made that joke too? I, I feel like she's probably gonna go around making that joke with every single guy here. Hey, nice to meet you. My name is so young. You get it? Because I, I hooked up with my son's friend. But then I started looking at these women and I was like, damn, they are kind of beautiful. <laughs> I'll be in the hot tub at 10. <laughs> Please. Ma, you gotta chill out. I don't think she's gonna chill out, dude. She knows that she just nailed that joke. Look at the way she's peering back through the top of the pineapple. This poor guy is pleading with his mother at this point. Joey is just a young buck, and he's just probably gonna do something to my mom, and then try and hit on another girl, and then another girl, so he's not going anywhere near my mother. Oh man, are they gonna be like hitting on each other's moms as payback? You know, like if, if he hits on his mom, then he's gonna be like, you don't hit on my mom, I'm gonna hit on your mom. And now you probably understand why this video took so long to make. I have to utter sentences like that. So Joey seems to be the, the main enemy right now. He's going around, he's flirting with all the moms. He's like, hey, my name's Joey. I was only a year old when Finding Nemo came out. You wanna hook up? I'm not calling you dad. <laughs> 
I feel like I need to get him away from his mom. And then... It's like she was laughing, but then she started to realize how crazy this is, and now she's screaming for help. Super weird. We get the text that we're gonna be staying in the same bedroom. My mom and I were really close, but dating lives are very separate. I don't want to see who she's trying to flirt on, and now we're gonna be living together. So now they all get the news that they're going to be staying in the same rooms as their mothers. And think about it, this is only the first episode. Can you imagine what lies ahead? What horrors lie ahead? This is what we're dealing with right here. This is this is what happens. Are you okay with that? Who wants to sleep with their mom? Weird. <laughs> yes, that's where this got weird. None of this was weird already. That's, that's what made this weird. So I'm not going to show it, but next they do this thing where they all line up and the women feel the guy's bodies to try and determine if it's their son. Then later in the night, things really start to unfold and it's terrifying and obviously Gabriel or Gilderoy or whatever his name is oh no this is Joey Joey's mother seems to be the loudest and most flirtatious so she's looking to bring a guy back to their room and Joey learns the hard way why a dating retreat in Mexico might not be the best idea what do you think is the difference between MILF and Cougar Oh, I'll tell you exactly the difference because I am still a MILF. I am not a cougar until I reach a certain age. MILF is like that age between. All right, I was not expecting such a serious explanation of that. I mean, I honestly learned a lot from like all of that talking. I mean, you did? Everything I'm that's life. come out of his mouth has been just I'm just wrong. I'm just wrong. And I'm just like... You're welcome. Just, this is your dad. What? No way she just said that. That's... That is... Wow. He does not seem opposed to it. He's like, you know what? Yeah, I'm your dad now. And why don't you why don't you go play? Go run along and play. You're gotta be joking. You know And this was the end for him. There was no going back. For the rest of his life he was stuck saying some variation of this sentence. Are we ready? Until I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, no, we're real. going in together. Yeah. Sleep easy. Still give me love. We're going in together. Bye Joey. Oh yeah, let's go in together. Bye Joey. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine? Uh Seriously, Joey, get lost. How are we gonna move your mama out of her room? Nah, how could I do that? Can you pick her up? Nah, how, how are we gonna move your mama out of the room? No. I, would take it I like how he's just drunkenly trailing behind them. This poor guy's going through the stages of grief over here and they're just having a good old time. I think he's in such a state of denial that he genuinely thinks they are just trying to play a prank on him and doesn't realize that this is all very real. I'm dead Sam right now. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> yeah, what are you, W-I-D. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, he's messaging me back. Is there any coming back from a conversation like this with your mother? And this is the first night. I forget how long they said they're going to be here, but oh my God. Come yeah. there, come upstairs. I think I'm just going to go to sleep. No, no. The second room on the left. The second room on the left. Oh my God. You gotta be joking. Even this guy's like, man, this is getting too crazy. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. That's probably for the best. What, does she think he's just gonna go in there, like right next to her son? And what, what's gonna happen? What exactly does she think is gonna happen? That's what I'm afraid to know. So aside from the whole mother thing, this show is basically just the same thing you'd see from any other reality TV show nowadays. Everybody starts going on these little nice dates together and then they start plotting against each other and arguing and causing drama. They're like, yo, you should not trust that guy Gilderoy. He is just playing you. I know know that because I'm your son and I'm here just playing everybody else. What if Jose falls in love with Kelly? No, she won't. You see his body language though? Look at it. No. It's talking. Just, it's no, talking to me. No, I know it's not. I know him. Oh, okay. Look how close he is to her face. That's an intimate. Claro que no. All of the mothers get really upset when they see their son talking to another woman there. And then all of the sons get really upset when they see their mother talking to another guy there. Yo, you went snorkeling with my mom? That is not cool. I'm gonna take your mom on a romantic boat ride. So in the next part we're gonna take a look at, they play some kind of truth or dare thing or secret revealing game, I, I don't know. And it gets pretty crazy pretty fast. Okay, my secret is I slept with your best friend. Oh, oh my God. God. You gotta be joking. Yeah, this would probably be my reaction to that too. Imagine hearing that from your mother while you're on a show in front of millions of people and it's called MILF Manor. This is something I never saw coming. Um, I did not expect this at all, 0%. And I thought I knew my mom really well. I don't know what to think about it. I don't know what to think about it either. This is starting to get really out of hand. Who came up with this show? I want to know that. I noticed there's no what would you do anymore. Is John Quinones behind this? <laughs> so young, like some so young. <laughs> Everyone's just laughing and joking, but he is dead inside. I feel like they're failing to appreciate this. Just finished the Wall of Secrets. Damn. Not what I thought it would be like at all. 
Yeah, I thought the Wall of Secrets was going to be a good time. I was really hyped for it. I thought it was going to be enlightening. I'm sorry, but if by this point you didn't know it was going to be absolutely disturbing, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't really know what to feel. I don't know how I feel. I, I hope nobody really talks about it. Don't worry, dude. Nobody's talking about this. I haven't heard anybody mention it. I have not heard and seen millions of people mention this yet. I didn't expect this at all. Really. I feel guilty. Damn, from looking at the previews and the titles, I knew this show was going to be very emotional, but I didn't think it was going to be on this level. I think there have only been like three episodes so far, maybe, so I guess we'll see where all of this goes. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to check out the podcast, which is posted every single week, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one.